I know. I feel you. Confused. Frustrated. Lost. Hopeless. Cheated. And I'd like to say on behalf of all of us, enough. Today, I want you to forget everything you've learned about health and wellness. Forget about all the research studies, all the newspaper and magazine headlines, and just focus on two things, logic and facts, based on history and behavioral patterns. Focus on what makes sense, and by the time you finish watching this video, your views will change. But first, let me start with that you and I would probably agree that one of the top causes for chronic diseases is obesity. So let's go back in history and dig a little bit further to see what really caused the obesity epidemic. In the beginning of 20th century, the majority of people around the world were fit. There was no obesity epidemic. Most people who were obese were the rich. Why? Because at that time sugar was a luxury, a very expensive food that only they could afford. Plus, rich people had a more sedentary lifestyle. On the other hand, the middle and lower classes didn't have access to sugar or ate it only on special holidays and they were physically active all day. So they were fit. In the next century, sugar became more accessible to the masses for cheaper and cheaper and cheaper as the food industry started pouring sugar into processed foods and as people began to live a more sedentary lifestyle, the obesity epidemic was born. You're still watching? That's good because things are going to get even more fun. Now, this is not a theory, these are facts, history, the truth. But let's dig even deeper into all this and find out how the Western food industry has managed to fool us for so long. Brussels sprouts, apple, pepper, eggplant, grass-fed meat, ginger, celery, carrots, artichoke, onion, fish, asparagus, quinoa, grapes and cheese. And this is the typical fridge in the traditional Mediterranean country household, or in our case, Italy. And as you guys have probably noticed, there are only fresh foods in here. Nothing processed, nothing refined, no artificially added ingredients. And as you guys know, Italians are fit, and they do eat pizza and pasta very often. Well, maybe too often, but let's try again. Jelly, skim milk, soy milk, granola bars, fruit snacks, hot dogs, ham, bagels, canned corn, canned sauce, canned vegetables, white bread, soda, salad dressing, healthy orange juice, yeah right, ketchup, cereal, vegetable oil. And this, my friends, is a typical fridge in the average modern household mostly processed, packaged, and instant foods. And what most of these foods have in common, which is also the first reason for the obesity epidemic, processed added sugar. Or corn syrup. Or dextrose. Or hundreds of other artificial sweeteners that have names that I don't know how to pronounce. But the problem is that not only you've been unknowingly consuming added sugar in processed foods that is being stored as extra body fat, but there are hundreds of other preservatives, artificial colors, food additives, and flavor enhancers like MSG that make you crave more and eat more. But the worst is, they make you addicted to food, which leads to the second reason for the obesity epidemic, overeating. Because when you're addicted to food, you buy more food and you eat larger portions. And that's what the food industry is best at, making money at the cost of your health. Now, we don't need numerous scientific studies to prove that, because history and the people are the biggest proof. So what can you do about all this? Number one, cut all processed, refined and instant foods out of your diet, no exception, and start cooking meals from fresh whole food ingredients. This will help you to break from the unconscious addiction to sugar and all kinds of artificial additives, which will in return help you to, number two, start eating less and stop overeating because you'll be less addicted to food. Number three, incorporate more active pleasures in your life other than eating. Something like hiking, or playing ping pong, or biking. This will help you stay active and take your mind 
away from food. And number four, join our exclusive community of passionate nutritionists, experienced scientists and health enthusiasts because we at Go Healthy decided to tackle this challenge and bring information at your fingertips by streaming hundreds of enjoyable and easy to follow videos like this one that are based on facts and truth only, backed by years of scientific research and not just the latest fad. So today we'd like to invite you to become a part of the revolution because we want to fight this fight with you and make this world a brighter and more honest place. Click the link in the post to get your invitation to join our exclusive community and comment below to support the cause because we want to hear from you. Now look at him. This is the future. And if we don't do something about it, it's gonna end badly. And before you move on to the next post, I have one last question for you. If I tell you that there will be a war in your town or that a natural disaster will hit your town tomorrow, you'll panic, right? And you'll do everything possible to save your life and the lives of your loved ones because that's the human instinct to protect ourselves in emergency life-threatening situations. But if I tell you that your cousin who died from cancer at the age of 45 or your uncle who passed away from a heart attack caused by obesity at the age of 65 or if I tell you that a big chunk of our loved ones that we've lost in the past few decades could have actually lived 5, 10, 15 years or longer if they had not fallen victim to the food industry who pretend that everything they're doing is in our best interest. Would you take an action now to extend and protect your life and the lives of your loved ones as if a natural disaster is upon you? A disaster with far-reaching and long-lasting effects. Join the community. Become a part of the revolution. It's your decision, my friend, and we believe in you.